don't I? See, I love working with Japanese men. They love women. They listen to women. They seem very happy to be bossed around. Sylvana Rowe is a TV personality and the executive chef at Baltic, one of London's finest restaurants. Through her passion for food, she has experienced the finest cuisines from every corner of the world. But there's one thing that Sylvana, surprisingly, has never quite had a liking for, alcohol. That is, until she discovered the Japanese drink, sake. Do you know, I've never drunk in my life and sake is the first alcoholic drink I've ever tasted and I've fallen in love with sake. Mm -hmm. I've fallen in love with the purity. I think it's a truly sexy drink. What do you think? Thank you, Vanessa. I agree with you. Oh my God, I love his socks. <laughs> I love yeah. these socks! Tell him I want these socks! They're beautiful! <laughs> Subtlety not being Sylvana's forte, it wasn't long before the whole world knew of her discovery and in 2009 her enthusiasm was rewarded by the Saki Association of Japan, who made her an official ambassador for their beloved drink. This prestigious award was just the first step in Sylvana's ultimate goal in becoming a sake samurai, a heralded position within Japanese culture, reserved only for the most knowledgeable and passionate sake experts. To become sake samurai first, you have to love sake, which you, you are already I'm qualified. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Uh, are there many women sake samurais or are they mostly men? No, there are, let's see, uh, three sake samurais. Oh, I mean, women. Three women, women only. Yeah. Oh, good. So, Are there any tall blonde women? Sake samurai? No, you'll be the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you like blonde women? Yeah, yes. You do? Yes. You do? Oh, yes. thank you so much. That's very sweet. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. It's very weird to come thank here you, to Japan. You. Yes, yes. You're a very beautiful man. Oh, sure. Are all Japanese men so beautiful? <laughs> Thanks. So. You look like a real samurai. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Thank yes, you very yes. much. Very, very beautiful. Do you do a big face? Yes, I know, I know. Sylvana's charm offensive on the sake community had begun in earnest, but there was an awful lot more to do to truly make her mark in this exclusive club. Her first assignment in her new role was to prepare a dinner for the Japanese ambassador and his esteemed guests at his home in London. The first step towards creating the perfect menu was to select the perfect sake for the dinner, so Sylvana got herself an invite to an exclusive sake tasting session with some of Japan's finest sake producers. Oh, fruity and flowery and really different, very different, beautiful, smooth. Thank you. Very, very beautiful. This is this is sublime. Yeah. This is exotic. Oh yeah. This is erotic. Yeah, erotic. This is superlative. This really makes me get goosebumps. Look at oh, my hair. Yeah. Goosebumps. Oh yeah. It's got a slight bit and it coats your whole mouth beautifully. Mm, yeah, yeah. Lovely yeah, texture. Yeah, yeah. Lovely yeah, yeah. body. Yeah, yeah. Like my body. Yeah. Nice body. Yeah, nice body. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tell me now, what is this? Uh, it's very Special? This is a symbol of. Oh, I see. Something to do with warriors, I think. Oh my god, the nose. That has an incredible nose. Really. This is like an artist who has created the most amazing, amazing painting and, and it's just, you can't describe it, if you just get it, you just can't describe it. Now that she had selected her sake for the dinner, Sylvana had to start thinking about how she was going to match it to Western food. She paid a visit to Heston Blumenthal's Fat Duck restaurant to get some tips from his head chef, Kyle. I kind of got fascinated by sake for the one and only reason, from the whole mummy thing. Because mm -hmm. to me, mummy, and you'll forgive me, this is totally amateur view, but it's about a feeling, it's about passion, it's about something I experience when I drink sake with food. Mm -hmm. It's about the fifth element, and I like to uh, romanticize, I like the mystical, the magical, the alluring kind of sexy element of yeah. the whole thing. While you will have me say, oh, it's a chemical, it's a chemical, but yeah. it's more than a chemical, it's truly the fifth element, and I like to describe it as a fifth Element. Yeah, but I think it's I think it's really both because I I also love those things, the kind of a little bit more romantic um, mm. side of it, and so and so does Hester. We're both really really passionate about it and how we can use umami uh, in the cuisine. Every co country and every culture has their umami ingredients. So in this country, in the UK, the Worcestershire sauce is very very high uh, umami, and people use that condiment to 
kind of deliver that, like as you said, that sensation, that kind of that, yeah. you know, to build that savory sensation mm -hmm. of that kind of, can't quite put your finger on it, no, uh, which is what right. gives it that kind of romantic, you know, yeah, feeling that you're talking about. Life, yeah. Yes, you have a tough job ahead of you because you have, you can do Western food with Japanese, with, slant. With Japanese slant, with Japanese sake for course. very sophisticated Japanese guests. So the big night soon arrived. Despite all her preparations, Sylvena was a little nervous and still trying to adapt to the Japanese kitchen. I like serving in, in really big dishes. So this really limits me quite a lot because it has to be served in Japanese kind of style and stuff. This here, if I, in the beginning, if I go like that, I'll burn myself. See, there's no handles, no handles, so it's really a nightmare. I don't even know how they cook. You basically get a pair of pliers and you go like that. You grab it and you kind of move it about. And it's not just the pans that are causing Sylvana a problem. This oven's been set wrong. What do you mean the oven's been set wrong? Did you not look at it? We shouldn't have used the fucking thing, I think, because I don't know how it works, but last time it worked very well. Yeah, it was perfect. You, you saw how good it was. This, um, this fan symbol is flashing, so when I opened it, steam. Apparently that thing was steaming as well as cooking and uh, it shouldn't have been steaming, but we don't know how to use it really that well, apparently, which don't know why we don't know how to use it apparently, because we've done it three or four times apparently. It means that the meat is ready now. I wanted the meat ready in about half an hour. We will manage, we will manage. And manage they do with a little help from Sylvana's Japanese assistant. Oh, beautiful, enoki, mmm. Oh my God, they're beautiful. That's gorgeous. Uh, so, so far, one, two, three are going very well. On the scallops, maybe three only came with, with, with possibly a third on the plate. Left. But that's okay, some people don't like raw food, raw scallops, you know. With vanilla, somebody thought, oh, it's a bit too shishy, whatever, gone. Empty plates. Now, that's the... Oh, oh, empty plates. Very good. Now that the main courses have been served, Sylvana can relax a little to reflect on a job well done. But if she really wants to make it in Japan, she's going to have to get a better grip of the language. How is it going, Enoki-san? Good? Enoki-san? Enoki-san. I just called him a mushroom. Enoki is a mushroom. Enoki-san, I'm so sorry. What is my name? Okay, what is my name? <laughs> you could, could be a mushroom too. <laughs> Sylvana. But the noki is actually a mushroom, and that's why I keep saying noki, but it's a noi, a noi son. I wish he was annoying and I remember, but he's not, he's lovely and soft. The dinner at the Ambassadors is a great success, but with so much more to learn and so much more to experience, no. No. it's time for Sylvena to take yeah. the plunge. It's good? Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect, I'm perfect. <laughs> They're so sweet and so kind. I love to go with my eyes wide open and I, I want to visit at least five or six different producers, make up my own mind. I want to see how it's produced. I want to go to their wooden houses up in the mountains in the midst of winter. I want to bathe with the monkeys that come from the mountains. You know, you laugh, but they are monkeys that come there, you know, in the hot springs. I'd love to dress like a geisha. I'd love to learn the tea and the sake ceremony. I'd love to learn a few bits and pieces, few words in Japanese. Very hard language. Just the sheer thought of Japanese. Oh, yeah. Sylvena may be ready for Japan, but is Japan ready for Sylvena? <laughs>